Dead. DJ Ronnie G. I think Pops has good ideas. That's the ideas. It gives us the ideas to conceptualize our ideas. That's yep. Mm. That's her. That's her. Mm -hmm. And I'm that's Trump going, I don't know what she said. I don't think she knows what she said. I mean, it's a great segue for the next topic, which is yeah, a Democrat exactly triumph. Are we going to have a Democrat triumph? Are we, or are we going to have a, a MAGA supermajority? Or somewhere in the middle, because usually, especially in recent election cycles, pops in the U.S., it's always been relatively close. Some elections closer than others. It's been a long time since the U.S. had a general election in which one side completely demolished the yeah, the Reagan. other. Mm. Yeah, Reagan. Reagan defeated Mondale like it was mm -hmm. massive. I, so too early to say. Obviously, mm -hmm. we have too many historical up upturn the apple cart scenarios mm -hmm. that I can't get a gauge. Like we'll have to you have to ask me again in another couple months, and we'll see. I guess mm -hmm. we can reconvene maybe in October. I don't know. Sure. I, it's just, just it's only it's only July. This is crazy. This is like it's more stuff that's happened in three or four weeks that normally happen in multiple years. So mm -hmm. it's a little hard to say. If you'd ask me after the after the assassination attempt, Trump wins easily like it becomes a possible reagan type situation like a oh, massive yeah. landslide where he actually wins and sweeps all of these key states just just there's too much sympathy vote there's too many like no you don't shoot my president blah 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 you change the cat you change the candidate you have a whole new campaign now right whether I like it or not whether she's attached to biden or not now it becomes like who is the campaign about is it about him or about her or them or whatever Do they change her and she becomes somebody i don't know yet um the general feel and my predictive bones would be the incumbent tend to, is that's usually where the most pressure is. So mm -hmm. uh, things are not going well in this country right now but with the inflation and the economy, gas, pri gas prices are swinging literally like 20 to 30 cents in a day. I know that sounds silly to everybody out there who don't understand why Americans are obsessed with gas prices. It's because gas prices is, is, is this really key indicator for us of how much everything else is going to cost because <laughs> when gas prices are spiking 20 30 cents this means the fast food restaurants have to you know they get their extra 10 cents here nickel there this is over here this is over here this is so everything is is you know mm -hmm. it, you know are we better off than for you no no one is no and now trump trump has some blood on his hands too right the end of covid all the money being spent doing some things that you know so it's not like people are as cheerleading as maybe they should be but that's because he was, or he was there before. But people can also know what to expect with him. So when the Democrats will say certain things that are very hyperbolic, they're like, what? I had to listen to Destiny so I could understand a crazy person telling me why he's a threat to democracy. I had, mm -hmm. I had to have a crazy person try to, and his theory is more like, well, because he's been there before, he knows how the game is played. So now all the things that stopped him from stealing, the, that's, a, that's their theory, right? That the, mm -hmm. the systems that stopped him now he'll know how to navigate around and won't be able to stop him. So their theory, they're, 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 they're literally twisting themselves into that. Again, yeah, oh, yes. Asajj Mali said, yeah, that Trump the derangement syndrome. Mm -hmm. um, so I had to, if, if there was a vote today, Trump probably wins very, very close. We're in a country that, like you said, it's very close. Like this is like a 45, 45% mm -hmm. kind of thing. The 10% mm -hmm. flux is certain states. I hate, I hate the swing state thing. I hate that. Because it does take the candidates from ever having to go to South Dakota or even even in California. They don't have to go there because they know that mathematically they really can't win in these kinds of states. Um, I think right now, no matter what they can do with her, she's not going to be polling any better than him. I don't think she would win enough of those key states to win. She has to kind of like clean, cl clean clock in the Wisconsin, Michigan, Ohio, Pennsylvania areas. I, oh, uh, Arizona, Nevada. She's not doing that. There's no way she's not doing that. There's I mean, too much sympathy from, for, for Trump. From my analysis, you compare the polls now between the polls this time four years ago, there's been around a 10 to 11 point swing from the Democrats to the Republicans. Um, this time last year, according, I think it's according to Real Clear Politics, Biden was mm -hmm. about, on average, 8.7% ahead of Trump, yeah. 
and now it's around one one to two percent trump is ahead of harris that's a that's anywhere between a nine to eleven percent swing which i believe is is enough for trump to get across the line of course uh, polls tend to favor democrats over republicans the there's always been that bent in their favor it was true in 2016 it was true in in 2020 i'm sure the same will be said in 2024 it's just from my perspective folks not focusing on the smaller states to me is a is a key weakness of both parties especially if a third party like a popular movement sprung up to talk to the disenfranchised the dispossessed to go to the places that not, no one else ever goes to. Like you said, Pops, never goes 100%. to North Dakota, South Dakota, never goes to the sm smaller states by population mm -hmm. with less representation in the House and the Senate. Because I, because of the Electoral College, folks, I managed to learn this. I think it's the theoretically possible to only get a third of the popular vote but still become president by targeting the smallest states in terms of population. So you get lots of states. You'd have to win like so many states, it's unbelievable. But you target the areas with the lowest population and then enough of them build up to the point where you get the seats. Because in America, likewise in, in the UK, it's not about votes, it's about seats. So if ever a popular movement did come about, quite the ironic name pops it's called a popular movement but it gets in through a min minority and, and basically speaks gives a voice to the voiceless in in what democrats and even some republicans would consider flyover country uh, appealing to people who are completely dispossessed and winning that way by appealing to the vast majority of states, while the bigger states like Texas and California, basically all the states that have lots of seats, go either red or blue. You just have a tide of purple everywhere else with far so fewer votes. So mathematically, it actually, each state, the red and blues, it gets down to mm -hmm. like these, you know, purple states, gets down to like mm -hmm. actually certain districts that become more mm -hmm. flexible than others. So for instance, if you were to look at a Florida map, when DeSantis won by 20 something points, you're literally looking at the only pushback that there was, was like these very, very distinct districts in inner cities where it was like so, so blue and not red at all. Same thing happens in New York in reverse. So I will say Trump represents a candidate who could do what you're doing. He could go mm -hmm. to Rhode Island and Verm uh, Vermont and Maine, and he could go to these places that don't matter and cities that don't matter because mm. he could mobilize a stadium or an event in a way that still gets him press and he could have that that stick of i'm here for you guys i didn't come because oh so i'm worried about winning you know vermont they claim they could claim it's in the bag for uh for uh, the officer harris uh, why am i here i'm here because i love you guys even though that trends and changes the landscape very well. I don't mm -hmm. think a third party candidate or a third party wave can do that, but someone like Trump can do that. Mm. And I'm not sure every candidate can pull that off. He's mm -hmm. just that kind of guy that could do that. And he can fill a stadium. Just forget about who mm -hmm. he is. He can go to Chicago the week after the DNC, go into the lion's den of Chicago where they were and mock them a week later. He goes, I, I, I got, I, this is, this, this is more full than it was a week ago. I dropped more people here than they had at their, I mean, literally he can do that. Most people can't do that. So that's why it would have been a, an amazing hypothetical to think of Trump as like a third party candidate because of all the people who could pull off that hypothetical I talked about. He'd probably be the, the best possible uh, person to do that, but yeah, I doubt it. Yeah. Mm. But I, I, I doubt that can be, you know, repeated. And that's why again. I wouldn't be allowed to be an advisor because that would be my strategy. Be like, listen, we can have the regular strategy, Mr. President, but we're mm -hmm. also going to do it this angle too. Yeah, we're going to get ourselves to Michigan again and Wisconsin again, but we're going to go through Illinois 10 days after them. And then we're going to mock them of how much bigger and better your event is than the one that they had. I mean, it literally would be that type of because he's the only one that can do that. That doesn't like work a for Teddy most like a Teddy Roosevelt of the 21st on the trains, century. Yep. Yeah. On the trains, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. So. But uh yeah. Yeah, I personally think folks based on like the 10 point swing I 
I mentioned uh, earlier, I do believe that, that there will be a, a, a Trump victory. I do believe that the Republicans will, I dare say, outvote the Democrats, but your system is a bit more different than the than the norm in in Europe. But uh, here's an interesting question before we uh, move on to future plans, Pops. I know votes don't really matter as much as, as say, seats, but can you see a scenario in which the Republicans get more of the popular vote than the Democrats in 2024? If he wins popular vote, he wins handily. Because the, oh, yeah. hmm. the math works in reverse. Like most hmm. c big cities are blue. Hmm. Hence the reason that they tend to gain so many popular votes. So like the hmm. popular votes in New York is so massively hmm. skewed. California, they're so massively skewed for blue that it makes it seem as though they got so many more votes, but they ended up getting so many more votes from these massively populated inner cities, you know, the mm -hmm. Chicago's and New York, the, the California uh, cities, things like that, Boston, whatever. Uh, when you look at the map, most, most of the country is red and most of the districts in those states are red. Like there's, you know, even in a blue state, a lot of the state, not all of them, but a lot of those states still have a lot of red in them. And they're Florida will be like this, not for the presidential election in 24, but mm -hmm. in 2028, I think we're up for a governor again. So we won't have DeSantis. We'll have a completely clean slate. And you're going to see, I'm going to predict it, a very a much closer election than you would expect for Florida, which has been red because um, there's not a presidential, there's not a presidential pull through for volume of mm -hmm. votes. And you'll see, Oh. I think he's frozen, folks. But from my perspective, the fact that DeSantis doesn't have a successor, like someone who can, you know, succeed him, at least as far as I'm aware, that's a bit worrying. Yeah, what my do wife you think, and I were Cox? just talking about this this last weekend, for sure. I don't know if Cochran is the guy or not, but he's the name that would be the most likely person. But he stepped away, too, I think. So I don't know. I don't know. Well, it just goes to show, folks, in politics, just like in content creation, always plan for the future. And speaking of the future, let's move mm -hmm. to future plans. <laughs> what a segue. segue. Right? Lying with his job. 